Hi, welcome to the numeracy 5 day answers for the 23rd of April. So let's have a look at question 1. Question 1, we've got a list of numbers. They are 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18. And the question said, from the list of numbers, write down a square number. Well, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16 and 5 times 5 is 25. So the only option available to us is 16. OK, next question. From the list, write down a multiple of 9. So the multiples of 9 are 9. 18, 27, so the answer here will be 18. And the next question says, from the list write two numbers that are factors of 36. So 36 divided by 12 is 3, so 12 will be one factor. And the next factor will be 18, because 36 divided by 18 is 2. So the two factors of 36 are going to be 12 and 18. OK, our next question. OK, our next question. Our next question says the weekly wage is equal to the basic wage plus number of cars times bonus payment. So a lot of jobs, you might get commission or a bonus for maybe selling something or getting a number of people to sign up for something. And then you add that onto your basic pay. So here we've got the basic wage is £350. And it says that a bonus of £30 is paid for every car sold. And Mike sold six cars. So we've got £130 plus the number of cars, which is six times by 30. So we're going to times the £30 by 6 first of all to work out what his bonus will be. So 30 multiplied by 6 would be 6 times 0 is 0 and 6 times 3 is 18. So for selling the 6 cars he gets 6 lots of 30 so that's going to be £180 as a bonus. So we'll do 350 plus 180. And when we do that we get well 350 plus 180 equals 0 plus 0 is 0 5 plus 8 is 13, so put the 3 down, carry the 1, and 3 plus 1 plus 1 is 5. So his weekly pay, his weekly wage, is £530. OK, our next question. OK, our next question. So here we've got a net, and it says this is the net for which solid. So as you can see, this would be the base. The 1, 2, 3, 4 sides would fold up, and then this would be the lid. So that would be a cuboid. OK, our next question. OK, our next question. Our next question says, work out the difference between 25% of 100 and a half of 80. Well, first of all, 25% of 100. To find 25% of a number, you divide it by 4. You half it and half it again. So half in it is 50, and half in that would be 25. Next, we've got a half of 80, and a half of 80 is 40. And we need to work out the difference. So 40 subtract 25 would be equal to 15. So the answer would be 15.